And you like, huh? How the f like, you know what I mean? It's like something like that. It's supernatural. Like, you can't even explain it. Now you should follow suit and just get to the back. People gonna talk either good or it's bad. I see people gonna talk either good or it's bad. Hello, welcome back to the Empress Kina Show. This is the Love Doctor. I had a couple people tell me that they wanted me to do more videos on Twin Flame. So this video is five signs that you met your Twin Flame. The first sign is an instantaneous connection. It's something that you feel right off the rip. It's like one of those things when you're like, love at first sight, you look at that person and then they look at you and then it's... Everything just stops. That's like that instant connection. Y'all meet and then y'all just hit it off and, and y'all can just talk and talk for hours. It's just almost like magic spark that just ignited inside you. Like when they touch you, it's like <gasps> you just felt that shit. That's the first sign. The second sign, supernatural experiences, y'all. You will start to literally feel spiritually connected to this person. You'll start to have like dreams with this person. It'll feel so real. Like you'll be in a dream with this person having an interaction and you may never have met them or talked to them in real life, but you feel like you're actually talking to that person. Or maybe you have talked to this person in real life or whatever, but it's just like that dream just felt so real. Or like, they may have told you in a dream, like I'm really close to my grandpa. You know, we always go fishing on a trip every year. But then in real life, you have a conversation with them and they like, you know, every year for my annual fishing trip with my grandpa, and you like, huh? Like, you know what I mean? It's like something like that. It's supernatural. Like, you can't even explain it. Or you may have visions with this person in the future. You may see y'all at y'all wedding day. My brother, I believe him and his wife are twin flames. He told me when he met his wife, like he literally saw his house that he living in now. He has two daughters, but he saw one little girl, which is my oldest niece. He saw at that time his future wife, but he saw them together raising a daughter with their house currently. He saw everything. He saw his patio. It was like a vision. Like he literally saw it like when he met her. But yeah, it's like something like that. It's supernatural. The third sign, there's like this sense of familiarity. It's this sense of like you known this person before. Typically, twin flames share past lives together. You feel like you know them because you do know them. Your soul recognizes their soul. Y'all might have only had one conversation, but you feel like you've been knowing them for years. Or like when y'all naturally get around each other, it's just so comfortable around them. You just free. I just know I can be myself. I know I can be goofy. Be exactly who I am when nobody's looking. I know that this person isn't going to judge me. Who may not be openly 100% authentically yourself right off the rip but there's this sense that you feel like you can like you just know you know them like you don't know how you know them but you know them you know what I mean you can't explain exactly why or how this feels so real or this feels so natural but it, it just does um, the fourth sign so this is the most major sign to me this is a little bit further down the line this is when you've already started to build a relationship with this person or you've already deepened the connection you'll start to see growth within yourself you'll start to see that they push you to your limits they bring things out of you all of these emotions that you tuck away all of your fears all of your insecurities all of your worries they bring that up to the surface for you to like look at head on face on because the purpose of this relationship this connection is for you to grow and evolve into the best version of yourself so you'll start to see tremendous growth on your part because it forces you to clean up the mess that you made of yourself not to say that you're a mess but we're always on a journey of growth even through life we're always constantly growing and evolving and this person is going to trigger a lot of things within you that is going to force you to grow so if you're a person that you gotta hit your head a few times in order for you to learn a lesson this person is going to bring that out if you're a person that's like super shy they'll put you in situations that force you to come out of your shell this relationship is going to force you to be completely uncomfortable when you're uncomfortable that's when you're growing that's when change is happening that's when you're evolving into this greater version of yourself the fifth and final sign that you at your twin flame is they're going to mirror you. They're reflecting things that you, like your flaws. So for example, if you're an impatient person, they're going to reflect that at you. They're going to test your patience. Basically, the mirror is like the triggers. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you see who you are reflected back at you. When this person is mirroring you, they're doing things that forces you to see who you truly are. It forces you to acknowledge the things within yourself that you can't see unless you're looking in the mirror. That that's what this person is here to do. They are here to check you. Like if you flip at the mouth, they gonna get slick with you. And you're gonna be like, oh hell no. But it's literally them showing you how you are to other people. It forces you to see exactly who you are to the world. It's going to be so triggering to you because this person is the only person that could push that button. Anybody else could push that button and you like, whatever. But let that person push
push that button, you are ready to blow up everything. Most importantly, this relationship is all about growth. But it also can be mirroring things or like more on the surface. For example, if you are a fire sign, they may also be a fire sign. If you grew up in a two-parent household, they grew up in a two-parent household. Those similarities and those alignments, they're reflecting back at each other like, oh wow, you had this, so did I. You may be the youngest and they may be the youngest. Things of that nature. Yeah, those are the top five signs. If you guys want me to talk more about twin flames, anything specifically about it, just comment down below. I'll try to do more twin flame videos or topics about it as I think of them. So, that is a love doctor signing out. See you next time.